Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. I'm here with Mike Weinstein, BAM's head of surveillance. Mike's here. We're going to talk a little bit about Hurricane Dorian and how the surveillance department responded to that over the last week. But first, let's uh, go over the BAM weekly update for September 6, 2019. Interest rates were higher this week. Treasury yields rose from last week's very low levels. That was a combination of a couple of factors. Positive news on the trade front. Uh, there's a promise of negotiations between the United States and China coming up in October, um, as well as some evidence that the U.S. economy is not slowing as quickly as been feared. Uh, this morning, Friday morning, the employment report for August was released. That's always a crucial number for the bond market. And it showed payrolls expanding by 130,000 in August. That was a little short of expectations, uh, but still a very strong number, especially when you have the underlying economy at a 3.7% unemployment rate. Uh, another uh, force driving interest rates a little bit higher was a lot of activity in the corporate bond market this week. Uh, more than $25 billion of corporate bonds were sold on Tuesday alone. Household names like Disney, Apple, John Deere were all in the market. Uh, September historically is one of the heaviest months for new issuance in the corporate bond market uh, of the year, and we saw that again this year. Moving into the muni bond market, uh, the surge in municipal bond volume was not as dramatic, but for a four-day week, it was still very strong. Uh, almost $8 billion of new issues were sold in the muni market uh, this week, uh, definitely above the year-to-date average, and that's expected to rise to more than $10 billion next week. For BAM, uh, a couple of interesting new issues. We had more than $200 million in new issues sold this week, uh, highlighted by sales for the Greater Wachita Water Company in Louisiana, the Tahoe Truckee School District in California, and the Lancaster, Pennsylvania Parking Authority. Looking ahead to this week, uh, it's also a little bit interesting. More than half of the scheduled BAM insured transactions are new money transactions for school districts, uh, building new facilities or improving existing facilities, including $60 million of general obligation bonds for the Cannon McMillan School District outside Pittsburgh, and $25 million for the Rockland Unified School District's Community Facilities District Number 3. Uh, that's outside Sacramento, and they will be financing the construction of a new elementary school in that case. Both of those transactions are going to be discussed in BAM Credit Insights videos that you can watch. Howard Spumberg will discuss the Cannon McMillan transaction, which is going to be underwritten by Benning and Scattergood. And Alex Weissman will talk uh, about the Rockland transaction, which will be underwritten by Stiefel. So that's the overview of the market. Now, we appreciate the opportunity to take a deeper dive into uh, BAM surveillance and what's been going on the last week, because outside of the muni market, Hurricane Dorian has been capturing a lot of headlines. And Mike, we now know the worst blows from Dorian are not going to strike the United States. They were struck in, in the Bahamas. Um, the worst case scenarios of really heavy high winds striking heavily populated areas in Florida uh, did not come to pass. But let's take a step back and talk about you and the role uh, your department played as the storm approached and as we were watching it. So in this case, the calendar was actually an important issue. The fact that it was threatening to strike right at the beginning of September was important. So why is that? Can you talk about that? Yeah, so first and foremost, when we're looking at uh, natural disasters and the potential threat of them, we're first and foremost concerned about bondholders getting paid uh, their timely uh, debt service payments, which is what our policy covers. So we're very cognizant of uh, when potential events happen around the 1st and the 15th of the month, which are typically the debt service payment dates. And in particular, September 1st is a uh, very common debt service payment date uh, for uh, muni bonds across the market. So as the storm approached, we were um, uh, proactively reaching out to paying agents um, for bond issues in the uh, potentially affected areas that had uh, September 1st debt service payments and confirming with them that they did in fact have the funds on hand uh, because the storm was, uh, was, was projected to hit originally um, on September 3rd, which in this case for this year was the uh, debt service payment date given that uh, September 1st fell out on a, uh, on a weekend. So that's, it just highlights one of the things that bond insurance protects against that may not be captured in a credit rating. So looking ahead, now that as the storm passes, as it does whatever uh, impact it has on the community, what do you do next? So we uh, follow uh, the, the news and, um, and the damage reports on where there uh, were affected areas, and we will follow up uh, where necessary uh, with the issuers, people on the ground, to figure out exactly how much damage there had been, and we update our credit view accordingly. Um, uh, we're concerned about uh, both the short-term and, and the longer-term effects of potential storms if there's um, uh, loss of population or loss of tax revenues. Historically, that has not generally been the case um, across uh, uh, the muni market in, 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 the, in this country. Um, even in the, in the worst of storms or other events, there in most cases, um, 
communities rebuild, rebuild and, and, and are resilient. And in fact, uh, tax revenues sometimes have a jump right after storms as uh, there is a, uh, the rebuilding effort does uh, result in additional tax revenues. But volatility is a word we don't usually use a lot in the media market, and these are certainly circumstances where it could bring, it can come to play. Yeah. Very good. Well, thanks for giving us that overview, Mike, and thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with the weekly update.